What's up guys, my name is Andre Jordan and today I'm gonna teach you the corkscrew. Nice jab. The corkscrew is a variation of the traditional jab. You're gonna wanna use the corkscrew if your opponent has a very tight guard and it's hard to get around it and you need to create a new opening. If you're boxing an opponent that has a tight traditional guard, meaning both hands up in front of their face like this, and it's very difficult to get in and to keep blocking all of your shots, that is a time that you would wanna to try to use the corkscrew. The corkscrew is gonna come out like a regular jab, but then at, right at the end, you're gonna twist it and it's gonna shoot up and through the opponent's guard. Like I said, the point of the corkscrew is to get through your opponent's guard, hopefully knocking their head up, exposing their chin, so you can finish them with a the cross. There's a lot of different ways to apply it. One way that I would suggest is combining the traditional jab with the corkscrew. So this is what I mean. First, use the regular jab, boom, touch them. That'll keep their guard here. Keep them on defense. You want them to be focused on defense because if they're focused on defense, they won't be attacking. So keep them defensive. And then don't bring your jab all the way back to your face. Just touch them, bring it back slightly, and then corkscrew. Boom, boom. So it's pretty much like a double jab where you're gonna mix it with the corkscrew so you can get through that guard and expose their shin. Play around with it. See what other kind of punches you can follow up with after you throw the corkscrew. Get that chin up in the air. Just all kinds of possibilities, right? You can corkscrew and then hook. Everything just needs to be short. It's all in the shoulder snap, right? So you corkscrew, boom, and then just snap it. You don't gotta bring it all the way back to your face. If my hand is already right by your face, I'm gonna just keep throwing those punches in there, right? Just keep attacking, it's right there. Just snap it. Make sure your, your other hand is up by your face and just keep going. Just keep everything short. Try not to load up your punches. Don't let them see it coming. Now the corkscrew is not like the up jab. The up jab is a completely different way to throw the jab. I'll show you that in the next video. Tips for the corkscrew. Don't get off balance. Meaning, when you throw that corkscrew, don't let your upper body lean like this. Because if your opponent slips that corkscrew and comes back with a left hook, then you're caught and you're off balance and the punch may not have even been very hard, but you might land on your ass. So stay balanced. So I urge you, try to use the corkscrew in your sparring, in your fights. It'll open up some more opportunities, some more uh, combinations that you may not have thought of or that may not have been available to you because their guard was so good, so tight. While you're watching this video, they're working. So get to work. Repetition is the mother of skill. Consistency is key. Work harder than your opponent is working. Keep in mind, make sure if you don't find an opening, create the opening. And I'll go into more of that in other videos, but it's, it's a chess match. It really is. Right? You have to outthink your opponent and put them in positions that are best for you and not for them. So use the corkscrew, practice it, shadow box, make sure your feet are correct, step into the corkscrew, keep yourself balanced, and like this video. Subscribe too. See you in the next one.